All right, so back in 2022, I was doing lots of soap reviews for all kinds of smaller natural soap companies, and I was always looking out for new companies to try out and make a review for on my channel. So there was this soap reviewer who I had watched at times who had done a few Dr. Squatch reviews, and one day he made a video for a company called Birds of Valhalla. So he was talking about how great these bars smelled and that the scent was stronger than Dr. Squatch. <laughs> he was not lying about that. So when I first saw his review, I wanted to try a bar for myself. So I went to their website, but then I saw their prices. $20, $15, $14, $18, $18, no thanks. And that was before shipping. So I wasn't going to pay that much for a bar of soap from a company I've never even tried before. But later on, I decided I'd buy a sample pack from them to see what I thought about their soaps, and I planned to do a review for them on my channel. So this was what was advertised on their site under the samples that you'd receive. I ordered like 13 different samples to try. But this is what I actually got. <laughs> Two cheap little drawstring bags with all the soaps crammed together. So I can't even tell which soap is which because they're not labeled. And they all rubbed off on each other and every sample smells the exact same. So I took them out of the bag and separated them and tried to air them out. But these bars reek. They smell cheap like a, fi like a $5 hooker or something. Not, not that I know what a $5 hooker smells like. Oh, man. Okay. Here it is. I've called escorts. I... <laughs> and I bet they smell like this. <laughs> Way too much fragrance oil smells like a cheap drugstore perfume on the clearance rack. Now, they did toss in one free sample. And you can see... It's actually in a little Ziploc bag with a label on it, which was like what was advertised on the site and what I thought I was ordering. Had I known they would all be crammed together and not labeled, I would not have ordered these. And I was charged $8.50 for shipping this through the regular U.S. post office delivery. I know this did not cost $8.50 to ship. So each sample was like $2 per nugget of soap. They actually look more like cat turds than slices of soap. Except the cat turds don't smell as bad. So this entire order came to $28 and that's after I applied a discount code. So obviously I felt gypped because this was not what was advertised on the site. And so I wrote customer service. And so I'm going to go over what I wrote and then the owner's response. Okay, so on the subject line, I wrote, order not what I thought. And then I wrote, okay, I got the sample set and thought the samples would be labeled so I would know which scent is which. But as you can see by the images I am attaching from your site that the samples are bright and colorful, making them easy to identify. But on the actual order I received, you can see they look nothing like what was on the website and I cannot tell what each soap is. And the amount of soap you get for $20 is a jip. And the $8.50 for shipping is excessive because the package was very light. All these soaps are $27. I think my math is... <laughs> I think my math was off there. Feels like a complete ripoff. Just look at that photo of the samples I received and tell me if that looks like nearly $30 worth of soap. Had they each been wrapped and labeled like the lemonade sample you included and the same sample size as the lemonade sample, then it would have been worth the money. And that was what I was expecting the samples to look like. But the samples I received are much smaller as you can see on the photo I attached. And I also don't like how they smell either. Instead of placing each bar in an individual bag like the lemonade sample, you simply threw them all in the same bag, which makes them all smell the same. And the scents are much louder than I thought they would be. Not trying to be negative, 
but I really think this deal was a rip and would like a refund, please. Thanks, Gary. And if you're not going to give a refund, that's fine, but come up with some way to make up for the fact that this does not look like what was on the website and what I thought I was ordering. Okay, so this was the owner Deborah's response. Hello, Gary. I am sorry you feel disappointed in the samples, but not sorry enough to do anything about it. I understand what you are saying about how it's not always easy to tell what from what. Yeah, that's kind of why you use labels. I do think there's some things you need to know, however. We used to individually bag and label each and every sample. It got to the point I had to hire someone to sit and do that about three days a week, eight hours a day. It was an absolutely miserable job and it was hard to keep someone in the position, even with good pay. It also made the samples more expensive to produce, which ended up costing the customer. I also received lots of complaints about the excessive plastics. Yeah, that makes sense. This is pretty annoying. This is an amazing solution though. The labels and printing was excessive for us as a small business as we were labeling literally thousands as we get a lot of orders and can have viral spikes without notice. The nature of cold processed soap is also important to consider. Putting it in plastic stops the curing process, which is negative in many cases. Yeah, that's true. Or you could possibly just let them finish curing in-house before shipping them out. I carefully considered all of this and created this new system and eliminated much of the labor costs so I could keep the price down for the customer and keep my staff happy. So this is the new brilliant system you created that's going to satisfy the customers? It is important to me that we have a positive and fair wage here at BOV. I cannot pay someone $15 or $20 an hour a living wage here in New York and keep these samples at $1.50 a piece. The entire point of the listing is for people looking to spend very little. We have another option that is far better organized, our Variety Tin, which has 12 options within it, but you opted for this instead and chose all or almost all the options, which, yes, costs $20. Yes, and this is what was advertised on the website. This is what I thought I was ordering. Not this. If I had known this is what I was getting, I would have ordered the 10. I did not choose to order this. I chose to order this, but instead of giving me this, you sent me this. You did not send the product that I ordered, and now you're here over explaining why I'm wrong. Then you used the coupon, bringing your price to under $18. I would say for what you have with a free sample is an absolute steal. And I would say for this, the $28 you got from me was the absolute steal. These are handmade in the USA, not China, by a chef. These are made with food ingredients, which is nothing like, say, Dove or Irish Spring, which are actually detergent-based and produced in factories across the world. If this is your experience with soap, it's absolutely different. For example, most of my soap is actually made with food grade olive oil and our fragrances are premium and are at the maximum level of 6%. Almost all soap makers skimp on fragrances because it's the most expensive part of making soap. All right, so obviously she does not know me and she's making assumptions that I use store-bought soap. Completely oblivious that I do reviews for natural soap products. And yes, almost all soap makers do skimp on the fragrance. Why? So they won't smell like this. It strikes me that you didn't even try the product. Oh <laughs> yeah, why would I? So you have no idea the value of it. You are going 100% on the look and smell. Yeah, because this smells like something I don't want to use. And missing out on the meat and bones of why it's so good. This makes me very sad. Another thing, those samples may be small, but they last. Each one is expected to last two to three showers or more on average, which again, you won't know unless you were to try them out. <laughs> yeah, maybe, because I don't want my bathroom to smell like a cheap strip joint. If you have tried, say, Dr. Squatch, 
I could understand why you'd be upset at the size as their formula is known to melt extremely fast. Our soap lasts an average of three times or more of Dr. Squatch, for example. We also have stronger and better scents. <laughs> no, you don't. Just because it's stronger doesn't mean it's better. You don't have anything that compares with Drunken Pumpkin slash Headless Rinse. Now this bar here, this is a great fragrance. And what's so great about this bar is that the scent is strong, but it doesn't smell like cheap perfume like this. More varieties. You have more varieties in Dr. Squatch. Dr. Squatch has 60 bars in its catalog. You have more than 60 bars in your catalog? I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible, but it just seems unlikely to me. But even if you do, it's quality over quantity. So even if you do have more variety, it doesn't mean it's better. We actually make our products, offer customs, allergy accommodations, and we even offer samples, which are not common for any soap business beyond the hobby level. Oh, really? So you're telling me that other soap companies don't offer samples? Hmm, let's see about that. Here are six sample bars from Slab Soap. And wow, look at this. What a concept. They're individually wrapped and labeled. So for all six of these sample bars and shipping and handling, it came to a total of $16.15, which was nearly half the cost of this. And let's go ahead and tear this open and see what it looks like. All right, this one is a sample of Jasmine. Look at that. Now that looks like a sample soap bar. And this has a nice scent too. There's a little fragrance, but not too much. It's not overly powerful. Nice scent, but it's subtle. And that is the right way to make soap. Not soak it in fragrance oil. So here's one of yours, and here's one of Slab's. This is what a sample bar should look like. This is what I thought I was ordering. Now the lemonade sample you tossed in for free looks similar. This is fine. This is what I thought I was ordering. I don't care if you package it in plastic or in paper. Just keep the bars separated somehow and put a label on them so we can tell which bar is which. Or simply just don't advertise on your website that you're going to sell them like this if you really sell it like this. Or how about Mountain Time Soap? Soap sample pack $10 plus $5.96 for shipping. So $16 for this. And let's see what the bars look like. Look at that. That looks like a good soap sample. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And now here's your soap sample <laughs> that, you that you claim was a steal. And yes, this is also natural handmade soap. Or how about this sample pack from Urban Eden? They offer four sample bars for $6, which is fine, but they even take it a step further and offer a discount code that takes the $6 off. So then all you have to do is pay for the shipping, which comes to a total of $4.55. So I got four sample bars from Urban Eden for under $5, but getting these for nearly $30 is an absolute steal, right? So these for $5 or these for 30. What do you think is the better deal? And let me go ahead and open this sample bar up to show you what it looks like. Look at that. Perfect sample size. And here's yours. <laughs> yeah. What a steal this is. Oh, but don't worry. This is more valuable because they don't skip on the fragrance oils. So this little pebble size is marinated in fragrance oil. Therefore, it's much more valuable than something like this. And if you don't know, Urban Eden is one of the very healthiest soaps on the market. And what did I do after I got the Urban Eden samples? I went and bought a slew of the regular size bars because Urban Eden is one of the very healthiest soaps on the market. And this lemongrass 
It has a really nice, subtle scent. It doesn't need to be saturated in fragrance oils because fragrance oil is not healthy. So you're sitting up here trying to lecture me and tell me about how healthy your bars of soap are. No, they're not. Maybe they're healthier than the store-bought stuff, but soaking your soap in fragrance oil is not healthy. That's why something this small reeks so bad. And this lemongrass bar from Urban Eden smells awesome. It's nice and subtle. It doesn't need to be soaked in fragrance oil. I don't know how you thought soaking your soap and fragrance oil somehow makes your soap superior. And yet you're bragging about how your soap is good on skin allergens or whatever. Pretty much every bar in Urban Eden is great for skin allergens. And their bars don't reek like an overcrowded brothel. And if you're looking for some soap to help with skin issues, you should definitely try Urban Eden because these are some of the best on the market. That and my next soap comparison, Siliski. So on the Siliski soap website, you can get a bag of scraps for $16. So what is a bag of scraps? Scraps are the byproduct of manufacturing from our blocks. We collect them and put assortments in bags, each weighing at least one pound. At $16 per pound, this is 30% less than buying full-size bars and a great value while trying multiple scents. And that is the purpose of selling sample bars. And so I ordered a bag of scraps and then I made a video about it. And this is what the package looked like. And this is part of what was inside my bag of scraps, along with four nearly full-size bars. So all of that for $16 plus shipping which I believe was $8, the same price as the shipping you charged me. So $16 plus $8 shipping for this, or $18 plus $8 shipping for this. Wow, what a steal! And here are a couple reviews from others who purchased the bag of scraps. This one's from Chelsea, well worth it. Three bars of soap come out to $18. This bag of scraps definitely contains more than you would get buying three bars and even costs less. You get a nice variety and it's a great way to try something new. The soap comes in various sizes too, which is neat. They are fairly decent size to me. These soaps are luxurious feeling to the skin and leave you feeling good both in and out of the shower. Siliski is also one of the healthiest soaps on the market and is great on your skin. So you can see here, Chelsea took a picture of what came in her bag of scraps. And as you can see, that's a great value. And here's another quick review from Jessica R. Great soap, great deal. Just got my bag of scraps and I am blown away by the amount of soap here as well as the quality. There are some samples in here for bars that I feel I must have underestimated because they are incredible, but their scents I definitely haven't tried yet. I'm learning that Siliski quality is unmatched. Jessica, why would you have ordered that bag of scraps? You could have got this for the same price at Birds of Ahala. And I actually ordered a second bag of scraps from Siliski and look at what came in it. This is the sea spice. It smells amazing. This is how you do a fragrance bar. The scent is awesome. The fragrance is there, but it doesn't smell like cheap perfume. Hmm, so let's see. Let's compare Siliski to Birds of a... <laughs> Look at this. And these sample packages were the same price. <laughs> what a steal. So yeah, you can stop flexing how your soap company is so superior to others. And you made the assumption 
that I use store-bought soap and that I don't know the difference between high quality and low quality soap but I do high quality low quality high quality low quality good value ripoff good value jip all right so let me go ahead and finish our response now there's a general misconception I have found that because something is small, it must be cheap to produce. Essential oil is $300 for five pounds. Fragrance oil is one to $200 per five pounds. Yeah, this bag smells like you, like, like you used about $100 worth of fragrance oils in it. There's also a misconception, thanks to Amazon, that shipping should be free or next to free but people forget that they pay Amazon Prime, that Bezos has an impossible deal no one else has with USPS, and the costs offset onto everyone else, and that Amazon makes nothing. They are a reselling store full stop. It's a completely different animal in business, and I never said otherwise, so that's a moot point. Speaking of shipping, you are right. It is not cheap. The post office keeps raising their rates. Your package costs about $4 to ship. However, the packaging we had to pay for it to get to you, the sticker, the ink, the labor to pick, to process, the free sample, which isn't actually free, the travel to the post office, the website fees, and the overhead brings the cost of actually shipping your package to your door, a separate service by USPS, is closer to $8.86. And yeah, all those extra costs should not be accounted into the shipping. It should be accounted into the price of the soap. And I would say that it definitely is, considering you charge $18 to $20 for some bars of soap. In addition to all these misconceptions, we as a society are so used to overseas mass-produced items that we can't fathom why we would need to make five dollars on something like soap. Yeah, that's not a good excuse because all those soap companies that I just showed, they all also ship from the US. It's not even that I necessarily have a price with paying $8.50 for shipping. It's that I have a problem paying $8.50 for shipping for this for a crap product. I didn't mind paying $8 shipping for the Siliski bag of scraps because that was actually a good value and high quality. This on the other hand, not so much. I will be honest with you again. We make no money on these samples. Yeah, because I'm so sure that this is worth more than $28. <laughs> Look at this one. I bet this is worth $10 alone. We make money if the samples make a customer, which in your case, which is extremely rare, did not work. People also compare handmade quality soap to say Dove. No, I'm not comparing your product to Dove. I'm comparing it to other natural soap companies. I have a variety pack, as I mentioned before, created for customers like you. Yet, you sent me something way different than what was advertised on your website. It took me thousands and over a year to create and design, and I make each bar myself. My staff cut them by hand, and we have sold over 6,000 so far, and they are a 5-star rated fantastic product. Let me also point out that many other soap makers don't even bother to offer their first-time customer samples. Um, yeah, I think we already established that there are other natural soap companies that do, in fact, offer samples and at a much better value. To be honest, I lose money on these samples or at best break even, but I value my customer's experience enough that I make that effort that most won't. You can shut down all that boasting because you definitely don't put forth more effort than most other soap companies. Not in terms of product, not in terms of ingredients, and definitely not in terms of customer service. I created this second listing for samples for people on a tight budget. People maybe that have sensitive skin or noses, or for those that are hesitant to try something that isn't from the store. Yeah, I think I actually would rather try something from the store than to use this. I have gotten emails needing help with identification as this is a handmade product and we cannot control the exact swirl of each little piece, but never a complaint until you. Well, I'm glad to be the first. I have also never heard anyone say in three years now that the scents all meld together.
Wow. <laughs> okay, you got me. I've made it up. These soaps, <laughs> they, they smell different. I just made it up and said they all smelled the same. I'm making it up. It's my fault. It's me. It's not you and your crap product. No, it's me. <laughs> oh, that smells so different. Well, this smells like crap. And this smells like feces. Okay, okay. so that's the difference. This one smells like cheap hooker. And this one smells like cheap stripper. They really are different. You also said you don't like the scent, which leads me to believe they do have separate scents. Yeah, you caught me in a lie. Because when you package something like this, there's no way possible that they could possibly start to all smell the same. So basically, she is telling me that I'm either lying or I'm just wrong. And that these do, in fact, all have very distinctive scents. And maybe if you had bagged them like this, maybe I would be able to smell the distinctive scents. I'm not saying when they were created that they didn't have different scents. I'm saying when you package them like this, now they all smell exactly the same. And how are you going to tell me that I'm wrong or that I'm lying? I am not sure how to respond to this particular complaint or feedback as it is conflicting. No, it's actually not conflicting at all. You are just very prideful and can't bring yourself to admit that some people think your product is crap. If you use one, you will find that they do indeed smell quite different. Unless, of course, like so many, C19 has affected the sense of smell. That may seem silly, but in fact, complaints about fragrance candles has skyrocketed in an unprecedented way in the last two years, and C19 is to blame. So we must mention it. Yeah, I know that can cause people to lose their sense of smell, but I never had it. And here we are nearly two years later, and they still smell the exact same. I have updated the listing you purchased from to be much more clear. I took your feedback and took action. Okay, but if I'm totally wrong, why would you need to take any action at all? You just acted as if what I was saying was totally wrong. So are you admitting that the advertisement on the website was misleading? If so, if you're admitting that it was misleading, then maybe you should do something to fix the fact that I got gypped. I won't, however, be refunding the samples or the shipping. Okay, so you took my feedback and then took action, but yet you just told me in the paragraph above that it wasn't true that they smelled different. You implied that I'm either wrong or that I'm lying. And when you say you updated the listing to be more clear, then that would indicate that you understood when I said how the website was misleading. So if you understand that the website was misleading, then I think that's why you should give me a refund. Or at least send me another product to try or something. But not just sit there and argue with me and tell me that I'm wrong and how I'm the only customer you have ever had who has made a complaint. Just very arrogant and doesn't know how to resolve conflict because according to her, I'm the first customer she's had that's complained. And we see how she refuses to do anything to fix it. Even though she did admit that the website looked confusing. By advertising these as the samples on the website, but then sending these and expecting you to like it. If you want to leave me a bad review, it's entirely up to you as a consumer and it is your right. I do hope that you will resend me a photo with the soaps lined up and better lighting as I would love to help you identify them. I can't see them in the poor lighting in the photo. Again, so it's all my fault. And there's the photo and the lighting is not that bad. You're so familiar with your soaps, you should be able to tell those apart. Or at least the majority. I hope this information helps, and I do appreciate you trying our products. Yeah, I bet you are glad I tried your products because you got nearly $30 from me for this crap. All right, so seeing all this witchcraft imagery all over the website, 
I should have known better than to do business with a witch in the first place. I guess I really shouldn't be surprised by someone who worships trees and prays to the moon. <laughs> now one thing about witches, they love spells, rituals, and sacrifices. So in honor of you, birds of Valhalla, I'm going to do a sacrifice of my own. So let's go ahead and start the ritual with a prayer. Oh, white moon! You are so bright! We must complete the rituals. We are putting the soap where it belongs. Oh, bright moon! Raven claw! Hollow oak tree! We pray to thee! Where the grass withers! Lord of darkness, please receive thy offering unto me. Is thy sacrifice acceptable? Ah, smells like shit.